I meditated for thirty days and it changed my life. Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing great, and I hope you all are thriving in your lives too. I'm trying a new format where you'll just be hearing my voice, and the videos you watch are the videos I took, which I felt were very pretty and beautiful. So you're also gonna see my videography skills today. <laughs> so let's get started. I absolutely love making New Year's resolution, like the rest of you. And I'm so excited when I make these resolutions. I'm so pumped that I end up making multiple resolutions, and I even follow it for a few days. But then, as time passes, I kind of don't do everything I said I would do. And you know how the rest of the year goes by. But this year, something happened, and it was the month of April. It was the first of April, to be precise. And I had a very deep conversation with myself, and I decided I'm going to slowly start doing. Everything I said I would do, but this time without overscheduling myself or without putting this extreme pressure that I usually put on myself to be perfect, which eventually burns me out and I tend to give up. But this time I had a foolproof plan. But do I succeed in it? Let's find out. The first resolution I wanted to master was meditation, and also reading every day. More than wanting to meditate, I needed. To meditate, because I genuinely felt this was that one thing that can actually turn my life around and make it a thousand times better. The first day I started was on the second of April. I told myself, "Hey, girly, no pressure," and I went to the park in the morning like I usually do. I finished my walking and meeting all my four-legged friends. I sat on the bench, adjusted my posture, closed my eyes, and told myself. It's easy to meditate, and I took ten deep breaths while calming myself down. And those initial moments were heavenly. But then, after ten deep breaths, my mind started running in several directions again, and and to bring my focus and concentration to one point was oh so hard. And I constantly was getting distracted by the external noises like people walking and loud chatter, and. I don't know if it was completely successful, but I said, "Okay, let's try again tomorrow." The next day, I came up with another idea, which is the blank canvas method. This is where I close my eyes and visualize a blank canvas, and I tell myself, "Now fill this blank canvas with all the things that I would like to attract in my life," and then I would concentrate on those things and. Meditate, and surprisingly, this method worked because the desire to attract my dreams was stronger than the distractions around me. For the first few days, I could meditate and keep my concentration for around like five minutes. Uh, but this is where I had to teach myself patience and perseverance because in my head, I could easily sit down for an hour and meditate. But in reality, it was just five minutes. I was learning how to be more patient with myself. And slowly and smoothly, it got better. My five minutes turned into seven, the seven turned into eleven, and eleven slowly turned into eighteen. And my ability to just sit and visualize one thing became stronger. But then another distraction was thrown my way. The benches in the park were less, and the people coming for the walk, especially elderly population in the park, was increasing. And that means, morally, as a young person, I felt it was wrong for me to take up the bench for around twenty minutes every day, when it could use, uh, when it could actually be used by an elderly person with either joint pains or breathing issues, or someone who's just needed to sit after a walk. Even though there's no rules in the park about the elderly getting special seat allocations, I just felt it was the right thing to do. So as soon as I would see an elderly person coming my way, I would just get up and move away. This was. Cutting my meditation shorter, and it was also constantly looking. I was also constantly looking around to see if there was anyone who wanted to sit down, because something sometimes they would just, you know, look at you and hope you get the hint. <laughs> so I would get up and I would move. This was actually breaking my smooth flow. I had a very good flow where I could actually sit down for fifteen minutes without. Opening my eyes, even even though it was a very crowded, very chatty space, I could actually quieten my mind and sit down. But now, I couldn't do that. Mentally, I was distracted, and I didn't know what to do. So I ended up shifting my meditation spot from the serene park filled with sunshine, birds, and water to my house, 
which is great because now uh, I have a quieter place and I don't have to intentionally work on quieting the things around me mentally. But then I did miss the beautiful serenity of the park with being so close to nature and being so connected to nature because it was easier for me because I felt I was more connected to the universe through nature. As I continued meditating, my life continued changing too. I was growing calmer. It was harder for me to get irritated or agitated. It was easier for me to remember the details of things or the past. It was easier for me to take decisions without falling prey to decision fatigue. Overall, I felt happier and, and everything seemed easier without the constant heavy feeling that I'd carry with myself. Meditation also made me a great problem solver. Whenever I, I would have a conflicting thought, I would just meditate and by the end of the meditation, I would have an answer. My logic and reasoning skills got 100 times better. And it was harder to get angry even when I wanted to. I had discovered a new side of myself who was hiding somewhere deep within. She's happier, healthier and more close and connected to the universe. By the end of 30 days, I was hooked. I had discovered a new high and I didn't want to give up this feeling, so I continued. It has been three and a half months now and I've never been happier. Also, I'd like to add uh, that yes, there were days where I have missed in the past three months and I'm not perfect when it comes to this meditation, I'm still learning. But it is a continuous process and I hope to go a long way in this path of serenity, self-discovery and spirituality. Before I go, I just want to give you a few tips, which is take it easy. Don't put pressure on yourself to meditate for like hours. You can do it for two minutes and two minutes of meditation with your complete concentration and focus is worth one hour of meditation where you're getting constantly distracted. So no pressure and just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Just start. You need to take the first step. And select a place where you're going to meditate every day. That way when you see this place, your mind is ready to meditate. Well, you're lucky if you find a quiet place to meditate. That way you don't have to intentionally quiet your mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more such videos. And also follow me on Instagram because it's fun, I guess. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.